So three. Norman bought ten thousand debentures at two percent discount on their par value of what hundred dollars. The debentures are redeemable in five. Sorry, in four years time at a premium of a base five percent. The coupon rate attached to the debenture is four percent. The effective rate of financial sorry of interest on the debenture is. 5.73%. So what do we do? This time around, we are buying a financial as a liability, right? We are buying debt. And it's still an investment. And how did we say we account for this? Yeah, there is no issue cost, isn't it? But it is issued at a discount. So what does it mean? It means that the initial to get the initial recognition, it is going to be, so the fair value of our financial assets is going to be how much? 10,000 debentures at a price of what? 100. 100 per value. But it is issued at a discount of a basic 2%, meaning we will take only 98% of it. Does it make sense? And I have an answer. What do I have? Nine eight. Nine hundred and eighty thousand dollars. Okay. Then we are told that. Now I told you that anytime there is. Debts like that, we will use the amortized cost approach. We won't do the complete thing, but this is how the shadow goes by. How long is it supposed to be? Uh, four, years. four years. So, in year one, we're going to charge finance cost as how much? 980 times what? The effective rate, please note this. What is the difference between the effective rate and the coupon rate? One well, said, because the thing will be redeemed at a premium, no? I'm open now. Coupon rate, I say the amount. Are you getting it? Anytime the debt will be redeemed at a premium, you will be paid less than how much you should have been what? Paid. For that reason, when you are doing your workings, your finance cost or interest expenses will always be calculated using what? The effective rate. Are you getting it? So we will use the effective rate here, 5.73%. What do I have? 5.73. Yes. Yeah. What do I have? One five four zero zero. Hey, how? It looks too big. Coupon rate ne or hop a one. Debut. And the Sika who be nya every year. Five six one five four. I'm coming. Five six one five four. The coupon rate is the annual receipt that you have. Which is how much? Nine on the on the main figure. Look at it. So let me explain this carefully. One would say you yeah, issued the thing at a discount, but actually it shouldn't be an issue at a discount. So actually the figure should have been a total of ten thousand times what hundred, and that should have given us what the one million. Mm -hmm. Are you getting the picture? This is the money, mm -hmm. but it was issued at a discount, so you carry it at this. Now, since you say, yeah, I'm going to a car. I'm going to a car based on the 980. I'm going to try a car based on the nominal value, which is what? One million. So the annual receipt we're going to be having is going to be the one million, okay, times the coupon rate of what? Four percent. Get a difference here. Get a difference here. The interest or the coupon rate is always applied on the nominal value. Coupon rate is always applied 
or nominal value. This is not the nominal value. The 980 here is not the nominal value because we have taken into consideration what? The discount. The nominal value of the loan note without the discount is 1 million. It is almost car every year. Almost car 4% of this. Almost 4% of what? The nominal value. And so this is how much money we receive. 4% of 1 million. What do we have? Dollars. Now, in this at the end of the first year, no? remember I told you you do the amortized schedule, but I'm not doing it. We can just illustrate it for the first year and say balance brought forward, um, interest, cash, and then um, carry forward. Which one is the finance cost? The effective rate. A finance cost. A, a, a interest expenses that we are going to be incurring on the loan notes. On the loan notes. But remember, here it is an asset we are buying. For that reason, we won't even call it finance cost. Rather, we will call it finance what? Income. Because any year na year issue, year top. Because it's an asset. And I remember, say it's not a financial asset. So it is not a financial income. It will, it will be, it's not a financial uh, cost. It's a financial out, income to us. So the financial income is always calculated on what? The fair value. And we use the effective rate. It is a mission way to work. Interest. It is a mission way Lease is the air or all no. Like something like that. So the interest will always be at what? The effective rate, 5.73%. Not cash, no. I hear always what? The coupon rate, 4%. It is a year, far and known as the year, Juma. Year one, no, who we are? 980, baby. Now your interest number, 5614, sorry, 154. Now, you can't know your number. 40,000. You have a TFM, you have a canon, you have That is the cl uh, closing balance for the liability in the balance sheet at the end of the first year. At the end of the first year. Can I have the arithmetic figure? <clears throat> One six one five four. This one, where ninety thousand? Minus the forty thousand. Minus this, minus this. Hey. Sorry, plus this, minus this. I don't get you. Ninety plus this, minus this. Nine nine six. One five four. So that is our answer at the end of the first year. So two things. Okay, so following the schedule, the balance go forward is how much uh, we bought it for. And, uh, yes. Then the interest is always on the coupon. The interest we use the effective rate. The interest what we are getting. Yes. Interest. So what? Interest. Interest on the loan notes. Mm -hmm. On the loan notes. What we are getting every year is the forty thousand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The interest. So the interest net. What? And then. The interest is finance income. The annual receipt is your 40,000, which is your coupon rate. Every financial instrument, whether it is a, a, a liability or a debt, has a finance effect inside. So, like we did in Lessee, our leases, you saw that the annual payments were being made, and then we brought what? The interest implicit on the lease. Okay. So, this interest is the interest we are getting on the debenture. On the debenture, so we add it to the we add it to the fair value. 
Now you see the Ayebenya, how many to get the balance. To get the balance. This is what we have now. We have now. Does it make sense? Mm. I know it to be a bit trucker, but I, you I don't have to make it trucker. Now you understand. But me personally, all the list is never going share why people have because now I'll be having them know the fra fra. Oh yeah, for special experience question. She was treating it like a lease. Now when she gets lease, she was treating it as what? Financial instrument. So that is the accounting. So in the second year, the balance will forward will become this. Good. Then you charge interest on Good. 40,000, the same 40,000. Okay. The same 40,000. So what comes in the income statement? The interest. We bring the interest. Are you getting it? That's what comes in the income statement for the first year. You know the cash we receive doesn't come in the income statement. Doesn't come there. So that is it about huh? interest. Now, she can be back income statement. What the cash are about income statement? Then? <laughs> because the ATF liability, you know, the cash you receive will be debit cash, forty thousand, and then credit what the financial assets, forty thousand. And until I did that to one hundred, do you get the idea? Now interest, no double engineer, debit income. No, even this one, you won't debit income statement because it's an uh, it's an income. So you debit your financial assets with how much? Five, six, one, five, four, and then credit what? Your income statement. Because this is an income, not an expenses. You are the buyer, not the issuer. So it will reduce your expenses. It will reduce your expenses, but it will increase what? Your financial assets. Because the initial recognition, this 980, mm -hmm. we will debit financial assets, 980, now I credit it in cash. Now it does it make sense. In this case, I was saying I'm debiting with way no, and it's not a day. You are crediting with forty thousand and it's in a year. It's a double entry, no, me 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 me. But any way now be our example. But one thing we ask here, we want to be in your answer be our. That the, is the, the interest for the first year. Yeah. The five, six, one, one five, five, four. It's for the whole period, right? Yeah. As in for year one. No, not for the whole period as in for the four years. So it's for one year. It was only year two. Year two is moving on the interest. And they record the income statement. Now why are they not paying us that? And they are paying us 40,000. Yes. Because of the premium. And it's in a the difference, no, and they can uh the old toy no into by the time I be do I'm be redeem, you know, I'm be to your premium in addition on that sicana bar. So as I said, it don't say the first year no figure now increasing. Mm. It is building up, it's building up. So after the fourth year now I'm be redeem, you know, then it will build up plus the premium. That's why. So you are supposed to have got this, but they will give you this. Are you getting the idea? Because of the terms in the uh, transaction. So, with the debenture, how is it different from a normal loan note? With loan note debenture, they all have the same effect. They all have the same effect. They are all debt. They are all debt. So, the treatments are the same. Are you getting it? So, that's it about financial assets. Then we'll go to example two, which is a financial liability. And that will be the same treatment, but there is an issue caused there. 